Hi, my name is Maria. Welcome to my channel, I'm here to books. And today I'm going to try my very first ever unboxing. Well, it's not my first unboxing, I've unboxed lots of books. But this is the first time I've ever gotten a book subscription box. Um, I've paid for this, so this is not promoted in any way. This is Maria being greedy for books. Um, a new subscription service started a few months ago from the book called the Book Resort and it's based in Waterford and I'm going to say County Ireland in Ireland. They are, um, they usually send out, their, their normal standard box is a new release, uh, Irish chocolate, usually a bar of Irish, Irish chocolate, usually handmade Irish chocolates and an Irish handcrafted gift. Um, I wasn't particularly interested in new releases, but I saw that they had a bespoke prescription, prescription, subscription. Um, there's too much COVID-19 going on, so <laughs> prescriptions and words like that are all over the rage at the moment. But yeah, subscription and this bespoke one, you can choose what you want. Standing off with the standard, a book in the box. You don't have to get new releases, you can choose your genre. So I've chosen genres. I chose every genre except for new releases and adventures. I don't know why I decided that I wouldn't like adventures, stories, but I decided not to. Um, so I'm not sure that this is good. I assume this is not gonna be a new release. And then Irish chocolate. Absolutely, you have to have Irish chocolate. I'm, I'm hoping in this box now that we get um, one of the handmade ones that are not um, butlers only because I can get butlers really easy and the other is a little bit more difficult. I'd have to pay petrol money to go down to the part of the country that sells them. But you know what? I have no objection to butlers. I had a lot over the weekend. And then the, as for the Irish gift, the craft gift, that tends to be things like candles and things which I can't use with the budgie, so I didn't get that. But when I, as I was checking out, they said, that was the oven going on, if you can hear it. As I was checking out, they said, do you want a second book? And I went, of course I want a second book. So there should be two boxes in chocolate in here. Um, I will try to open it. I did remember it's this very sweet. I to open it. Um, I probably should have spoken about all this stuff while, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, can't open it. <laughs> I had a feeling this would happen. Um, I should have spoken about all of this when I was um, trying to open the box. It wouldn't make sense, wouldn't it? Um, okay. So, there we go. The book resort. You're in the light, I'm in the dark by the way. All the light is coming from the camera light. So there you go, the book resort. And this box has gotten a bit battered. So if anything's battering is because I carried it home on a bus in my backpack. Oh, I love boxes open like that, so satisfying. Okay, so we're wrapped up inside. I used to love watching this, by the way. This is why I'm doing, filming this. I just used to love watching people unbox books. I used to love the moth box books unboxings. Adored them. Um, not sure this is going to be as um, independent publisher wise. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, it's just it's difficult to know how to open when you're not opening before, but I know next time. Okay. So, it's all full of glittery stuff. So, my two books are Come A Little Closer by uh, Karen Perry and Be Careful Who You Let In, a thriller. Um, oh, Blood Orange. Blood Orange, I think I just seen this on booktube somewhere earlier this morning. A Damaged Marriage, a Toxic Affair, a Dark Obsession. I'm almost positive I saw this in booktube today. Um, I wouldn't have actually seen it because it was playing in the background while I was working. Um, Oh, fans of Apple Tree Arts. So we have by her ties, so we have two thrillers. And our chocolate is because you deserve it. Of course, it's because oh, how do we do this? Yeah, see when I use the camera light, there we go. That's coming on screen-ish. Because you deserve it. And because you deserve it is this is why it's it's a bit, bit problematic, Maria, when you're sitting in the dark. 
it's obviously made, it's made in Kilkenny. Can't see the company. And luxurious milk chocolate. Excellent. <laughs> mm, it's supposed to be a present. So it's that sweet living Kilkenny um, chocolate. And I put their um, details on their Instagram. So I'll definitely do a taste test of that. So there you go, my very first ever unboxing, just for the fun of it. Um, these would have been good last month for Thriller as well, wouldn't they? I uh, thought I might actually just speak a little bit about the book, so I just looked them up. So Blood Orange um, is actually um, liked by quite a few and disliked by some. Um, my good friend Reed's friend who likes it the most has said it's immediately compelling with a strongly div um, divisive main protagonist you can absolutely relate to. I simply do not want to put this down, so I didn't. Um, excellent. And it's an electrifying thriller for fans of Anatomy of Scandal, Avatry Yard and Gone Girl. I've read Gone Girl, of those because the ending of Gone Girl. Yeah, it makes more sense in the book, but still, because of the ending. Um, so the next one. The next one, um, Come Closer, uh, Karen Perry, only has one review from my friends, a good read friends at the moment. Um, and this is good. This is a good beginning to it. It's a five star. Um, whenever there is a new Karen Perry book, it feels like Christmas and my birthday in one go. And I have to start the book immediately. Um, what a beginning. A boy appears in the park covered in blood saying, help me. You had to be hooked from there on. So, yay. So I can smell my dinner cook, so I have to go. <laughs> Kilkenny, what's the name of them again? Sweet Living Kilkenny. Make personalized um, chocolate bars, so you can get whatever you like printed on them. Um, so, yeah. Excellent, they're all, all milk chocolate as far as I can see, but if um, that's wrong, anyway, I'll leave the links and everything down below just in case. Um, and of course, it's the taste, it's all gonna be in the taste. Um, so when I read one of these thrillers, I'll have this bar. Or maybe when I'm reading Duck's new report, you know, whatever. Um, until next time, have fun, and I hope whatever you're reading that you're enjoying it. Bye now.